a smile or tears to our eyes. This is a live look at that funeral service, as we mentioned, going on right now. It began about an hour ago at Victory Tabernacle Church of God in Midlothian. That, of course, Governor Glenn Youngkin. The 24-year-old officer died after a multi-vehicle crash in Henrico a week ago today. Officer Sutton was set to be married in June and leaves behind his fiancée, Zoe Pearson, his parents, a brother, grandparents, and several cousins. CBS 6's Bree Season is outside the church where the service began an hour ago. Bree. Cheryl, this service has just been gut-wrenching to watch. They've shown some really touching photos of Trey growing up, played the song that he was to dance to at his wedding in June, and told touching stories of how much joy he got out of watching the Red Sox and whichever team Tom Brady played for. Trey's family and family and friends arrived at the church a few hours ago, accompanied by a motorcade and greeted by a full honor guard from countless law enforcement agencies. They've said their private goodbyes inside, and within just the last few minutes, his fiance Zoe spoke of the plans they'd made for life together, saying she never envisioned a future without him. I would give anything for more days with Trey. But if I had to choose this over never loving him at all, I would choose this pain a hundred times over. How lucky are we to have loved the way we did in the amount of time we were given. He gave me a forever within a, a numbered days, but I mourn for the future that we had created in our heads. The service will wrap up within the next few moments and then a motorcade and funeral procession will take Officer Sutton to his final resting place in Prince George County. Stay with CBS 6. We'll have continuing coverage throughout the day, both on air and online. Working for you, Bree Season, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Bree.